Hello, this is going to be a tutorial to show you how to test if your fan in your micro uh, printer is working correctly, as well as heat sink placement. And if the fan is not working, we're going to go ahead and replace the fan. So first thing, you're definitely wanting to test the fan just quickly, so you can go ahead and power on your printer and put your hand above the top vents here, which is should be on the back side of your printer. If there's airflow, good, that means the fan's working. If not, we're gonna go ahead and replace the fan. So there'll be four Phillips head screws right here. You'll just need to undo. And once you get that off, you can go ahead and take the lid off. And the fan is right here. And if the fan is not working, we are gonna have to go ahead and change that. Also, just go ahead and make sure that this heat sink placement is correct. So you can see these four blue heat sinks there. You can go one, two, three, four. Uh, this fifth one on the bottom is not used. So you do need four heat sinks. Uh, from the top so this black chip right there the one I'm touching doesn't need one so uh, there's probably some epoxy here where my finger is showing you right here and you will have to yank this cable out so please be careful and to ensure that uh, you don't damage the actual cable inside uh, you could go at this epoxy a little bit maybe with a knife a little bit uh, like here I'm showing with the screwdriver uh, but be sure to not actually uh, knife into the cable here. We don't want to cut any cables. So you should be able to just yank on this and remove uh, this cable out of the way uh, with this epoxy here. It's not that strong of a bond. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this zip tie that secures the fan in place. And there might also be another little black dot of epoxy here. That should come off very easy as well. You can just pick out a little bit or even just start moving the connector out. And now we're gonna remove the fan. And if you're not able to just pull it out, out like that, you can uh, use a large lever or a screwdriver to get some leverage on it and assist with pulling that up and out. You can do it this way or you can get at it this way and so I'm gonna do this action here so I'm grabbing the fan and I'm gonna really pull hard up here on the screwdriver so it's gonna be this kind of motion here as you can see the fan comes up and so you can really get in there and give it a lot of force to pull that fan up and out we're gonna take the new fan we're gonna make sure that these cables here let me get a focus on that so you can see that that these cables are slotted correctly in the side so we don't have any cables that are gonna be pinched here when we insert the fan. We definitely do not want to be doing this. That would be very bad and the fan would probably, uh, wires would probably break. So slot the cables into here if they're not already in there like that. And let's get a little close up. And we will slot the fan in just like that. And we'll go ahead and reconnect this little fan connector. And there you go, that fan is replaced. You can go ahead and just put this wire back in there and you should be good to go and reseal the, back, the box back up. And that is how you replace the fan on one of our uh, micro printers.